<clears throat> being that someone asked, I think it was, the tractor world, and how do I move the headlights on an 8890 truck, I'll make a video. Wonk. See, these headlights are similar to those of yours, but they have two posts. There's a grill shell right there, right there. That's on your left side. Right side, same thing. Right here, right here. You get a quarter inch with a five millimeter. Fits right on. Start taking out your posts. It takes forever to come out. Sometimes they're rusty too. Start working on this one. time video. The speedos are getting me. Come on. Nut driver works well too instead of a ratchet. A little bit faster. Put that over there. I'm not seeing anything. Anyway, see they rust up. Should really clean that. Grab your headlight. Boom, it's out. There's your bulbs. There are your your I can't speak today. Your adjusters. And um wait a minute, hold up. I gotta finagle it back in. Difficulties at one hand, but yeah, they go back in. There we go. Ouch, that wasn't right. Broke my corner light. No, I didn't. <laughs> Junk. Anyway, that's how it goes back in. I think I did snap that. What a piece of shit. Actually, I didn't break anything. It's because this truck is hit over here a long time ago. And uh, it's actually a little bit meshed. I think the radio support is kind of pushed in. What you want to do is start it in on this side. And it pops back in. Uh, oh, yeah. I can't see it though. Through this hole and this hole, you can drop the socket down. And that's how you would adjust it to these two holes to the radio support. And you can go do that, and those are almost always rusted too, so they never work well. I think this headlights in Texas, and that's an original. Oops, putting in the wrong hole. So that's it. And then just tighten those down. Your headlights back in, and they won't wobble like the new style junk. That's it.